Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. I'm a full-time reseller and today I'm bringing you another What Sold Weekend Edition video. So these are my sales from Friday afternoon until Monday morning. This weekend was a little bit slower and, um, you know, I think maybe that could be due to Mother's Day. Uh, people are going out doing things, um, you know, springtime, typical springtime stuff. So it was only a little bit slower, not a lot slower. I still had some solid sales, so um, hope you guys did too. Let's jump into it. Alrighty, so first item heading out the door is this Hallmark Disney Mickey piano player. This sold for $17 plus shipping. And then I sold this pair of Eddie Bauer uh, hiking sandals. These sold for $27.99 plus shipping. These were actually, um, I picked these up on clearance at Sam's Club last summer, I believe. Uh, then I sold a Yankee Candle tart warmer. I actually purchased two of these last weekend at the flea market. Um, both kind of like tiki themed, but both different. And they have both sold now. So this sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next is a Pan Digital handheld wand scanner. Uh, this sold for $43 with free shipping. This was a fairly recent pickup, I believe. Maybe a month or two ago. Then I sold this Spode Christmas tree napkin holder. This sold for $36 plus shipping. Next is a Walt Disney Parks coffee mug. This sold for $16.95 plus shipping. And then this was also a recent pickup, the Godfather DVD collection. This sold for $12 with free shipping. Next is a Hello Kitty shower curtain. This sold for $16.99 plus shipping. That took a while to sell. I was actually pretty surprised. Then I sold another lot of the Ralph Lauren dinner plates, um, four of them for $159.99 plus shipping. So I have one more lot of these left now. All right, and then I sold some Bordalo Pinheiro uh, leaf service is the pattern. These are salad plates. They sold for $22.99 plus shipping. Next is a 1928 brand butterfly necklace. This sold for a uh, best offer of $20 plus shipping. And then a rubber stamp, a grandfather clock. This sold for $11.99 with free shipping. Next is a uh, Calico Critters Caravan camper and the car. Um, this car did not have like the tow hitch to like hook up to the camper, but they still both sold together for $29.99 plus shipping. These were a pretty recent pickup. Then I sold this um, art to wear beaded purse. This sold for $38 plus shipping. Yeah, and this was like a weird purse. They were not embroidered on. They're just kind of like little dots. Really kind of neat though. All right, then I sold a pair of J. Crew jeans. These sold for $18.99 plus shipping. Next is a pair of Seagull Pewter champagne flutes. I thought these were going to sell a lot quicker than they did, but these sat for about two years and they finally sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Next, uh, this I got at the flea market last Sunday and put it in auction form and she got a couple bids um, up to $47 plus shipping. It's little Joseph Originals figurine. All right, then I sold this M Audio preamp. This sold for $35 plus shipping. This was in one of my recent uh, yard sale videos, town-wide sale videos. Then I sold a New York Yankees coffee mug. This sold for $15 plus shipping. Next is a, I'm not really sure what this is. Text and photographs. I don't know. What's it say? Scenic collection, sacred moments in the landscape. I'm not sure if it's like a guide or just photographs. I don't really know. But anyway, I sold it for $9.99 with free shipping. Um, 
I think that came in a lot of something else I purchased. Don't really remember. All right, then I sold this Disney Frozen 2 Lego set. I had two of these. Uh, this was also from a, a recent townwide yard sale video. Uh, and now both of these have sold and it sold for $30 plus shipping. Next, I sold five international teaspoons. These are, these are silver plate. They sold for $13.99 plus shipping. This mug, also a recent pickup, I took a best offer of $15 plus shipping. These also sat a while. These also sat about two years. So these are Tiffany & Co., but they are um, designed for this Farm Bureau, um, Farm Bureau Research Foundation, I guess. I'll show you the back here. So I don't think the traditional Tiffany collector would want to buy these. I think it's someone who might have some kind of ties to the American Farm Bureau Research Foundation or whatever. Um, I don't know. So I did, I had eight of these plates, so I broke them into two sets of four. So now one sold and I have one left. Uh, they sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Then I sold a vintage Diane von Furstenberg silk top. This sold for $18 plus shipping. <laughs> another, another set of the Billy Bob teeth have sold. So this is my, my second my second set, these sold for $10.90 with free shipping. Next is a pair of men's American Eagle jeans. These, um, this is actually the second time these are going out. The first time they didn't fit the guy. So fingers crossed this time they fit. Um, these sold for $23 with free shipping. Next is a New York collection pencil dress. This sold for $22.95 plus shipping. That was an older listing as well. So I had a really really good mix. A lot of newer stuff sold, but some older stuff too. All right. Then I sold these, um, LuLaRoe Disney girls leggings. These sold for $16.99 with free shipping. Then I sold a pair of vans. These were a recent listing, recent pickup, um, brown, pink checkered vans. These sold for $25 plus shipping. And also a recent flea market pickup. I sold this, uh, Pooh's Friendly Places, Figurines, Eeyore, and Rabbit. These sold for $18.99 plus shipping. I had like four different packs of these figurines and all of the, the figurines or whatever. They're not really figurines, little toys. They sold already and I still have two of the buildings left. All right, then I sold another LuLaRoe piece that's been sitting for a little while. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. So yeah, LuLaRoe is like hot today in my store, I guess. Uh, and then lastly is a Joan Rivers black jewelry organizer. It's got 74 different pockets. Uh, this came out of that thousand dollar auction buy. Um, and I actually think I just found another like this. I think it's it might actually not have as many pockets, but it might be another 74 pocket one. I don't know. So I, I have to find it and uh and get it listed. But anyway, I took a best offer of $18 on this plus shipping. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.